Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on missing data table wherein you need to apply some base, basic logic as well. It says that Indian cricket team played a five match series and in all the five matches only five batsmen got a chance to bat and all the batsmen had a distinct score in a match. So in a match all these five scores would be unique. Okay, and the table below gives the runs scored by top three batsmen in each of the matches and the percentage contribution of top three batsmen in the total score of the match. Uh, data for the other two is missing. So they have given the top three uh, scorers and their percentage contribution in that match. Okay, no extra runs were scored. So only these are the runs that are scored by these five batsmen. No other runs are scored. So they have given by example also like Shubman, Sanju and Shardul were the top three batsmen in match one and their contribution to the total score was 75%. Right. So that is the thing which is given to us. Now let us uh, draw this uh, table to complete this table. So if we add these, we get 168 which is 75%. So total score will be 224 okay similarly in this match if we add this this comes as 192 which is 80 percent so total will be 240 okay uh 59 55 68 this is 182 and 87.5 is 7 by 8 so 8 by 7 26 into 7 is 182 20 into 26 into 8 is 208 right so let us write the total scores of the team now 90 uh, and 140 okay 140 is 5 by 6 okay 5 by 6 that means this will be 168 now last match it is 120 170 which is 85 percent so total will be 200 okay so these basic calculations you should be able to do now it is given that now if we see this we are given that two data for two people is missing so this was uh, so 168 was the total so remaining to the total is 56 okay and this was 192 so 48 uh, this was 186 so 20 182 so 26 this was 140 so 28 for the remaining two and this was 170 so 30 for the remaining two this total is 200 okay now we are given that uh, these are the scores now if we see 56 has to be distributed between these two okay now these are the top three scorers so any of these persons cannot score equal to 48 because uh, these are the top three scores so the score has to be less than 48 so maximum as a person can score is 47 okay so if a person scores 47 the second person should score nine runs right so that is the range like if a person scores 47 the other person will score nine and vice versa the minimum range so this is the maximum and minimum range so if a person scores nine the other will get up to 47 and minimum a person can score is nine okay and maximum 47 so that we have figured out Similarly, 48 we need to fill. Now, in this case, 54 is the third highest. So, a person can have a maximum of 48 also. Okay, so 0 to 48 will be the range. 26, we can have a range from 0 to 26. We can write in any order. Okay, this is the min to max range. Okay, we can have any score in between. Uh, 28, again, if we see the third highest is 42. So, it can be 0 to 28, any range okay but not they should not be equal okay that we need to keep in mind except 28 because both of them cannot have 28 same score similarly here people cannot have 24 right here the score cannot be 13 that we need to keep in mind because all of them have distinct scores similarly 30 we can have 0 to 30 okay and 15 cannot be the score of both these players right so that is the thing that is given to us now we can just add this to find out that what is the maximum minimum and po maximum possible range of scores 
we know <clears throat> these are the scores and uh, if a person scores 0 0 in both matches that would be his least and if that person scores 30 and 78 that is the highest possible score of that player okay so let's just add it this way uh this is 64 plus 48 112 171 is the least score and maximum can be add 78 to it 249 okay because we are asked the maximum number of runs scored by something and some questions like this uh so this is 110 188 uh, 9 add kardo, that will be 197 will be the minimum score okay and then we have uh 188 plus 75 263 will be the maximum score similarly for this person 116 158 158 is the least and then we have 56 so 214 is the highest possible score this person 122 172 172 plus 9 181 is the least and uh, if this score 75 is the highest so uh, 247 will be the maximum possible score similarly for shardul it is 48 plus 50 98 163 163 is the least possible score and if he manages to score 74 in these two matches he can get a score of 237 so this is the minimum possible score and this is the maximum possible score of these players okay now there are questions like this what could be the maximum number of runs scored by any batsman in the series so maximum possible score is 263 which of the following statements is false only two people scored more than 15 match two uh, we know that the third uh, okay so uh, this should be only three people scored more than 15 match two or something like that uh, something is missing we'll cover it the max minimum possible total of any batsman in the series is 158 so minimum possible this is true only one player could have achieved a total above 250 so we can see that only uh, Shikhar could have achieved over 250 so that is also true the minimum possible score in every match is zero so that is a false one right so this uh, this number is missing it should have been three people scored more than 15 match two so sorry for that but we can say that this is a false statement okay the difference between the total runs of Shikhar and Shreyas cannot be more than okay Shikhar and Shreyas so if we see their extreme scores right 197 and uh, 247 181 263 so we see the extreme cases right so suppose he scores more uh, he scores 197 this person will score 247 so the difference is 50 if he scores 181 right this person can score 1263 so difference is 82 now this difference will decrease let us say if you see these two people Shikhar and Shreyas right so the same match is the missing the same uh, two matches are missing for both of these right so uh, the same uh, set of matches have missing values now what will happen is let us say that uh, let us just say lowest and highest values okay so let us consider this this person scored 197 and this person scored 247 in the match okay so they must have scored uh, this person must have scored least in these two matches let us say 9 and 0 and this person must have scored highest in these two matches then only he got the highest possible score right 47 and 28 okay now what will happen is if you increase these scores right this score will come down and what will happen his score will go up right if you increase any of these scores let us say instead of 9 you have 10 here right so his score will go up by 1 his score will become 198 and this score will go down by 1 okay and his overall score will go down by 1 so in score 198 and 246 so the difference that we get is 48 so difference will keep on decreasing right so if we increase let us say if we increase one run here also and we decrease one run here also so the difference will uh, like uh, increase so this will be 199 and 245 so the difference will become 46 so likewise the difference will keep on decreasing and 
one point will come when they will have equal score and then he will have a higher score so let us look from the other side also let us say if he has the highest score that is 263 and this person has the least score which is 181 okay so 9 9 and 0 47 and 28 okay so that is the scenario here now if we uh, this person cannot score more than this okay so let us say if he score if we decrease his score by one in any of the innings so his score will go up by one okay so his score will become 262 and this will become 182 so difference is 80 so the highest difference is 82 and then it went down and then like initially this is like we considered one case where shikhar is greater than uh, shreyas and when his score keeps dropping his score will keep increasing they will have an equilibrium and then again this person will take lead so maximum possible difference that could be 82 so it cannot be more than 82 okay so in between the difference will keep on reducing on either sides if shardul got a total of 237 runs what is the sum of runs scored by shubman and sanju in the series okay so shardul gets a total of 237 okay so if he gets a total of 237 that means he got 48 in this match and 26 in this match if he got 48 in this match then shubman must have got zero in this match and if he got a zero in this match that means uh, sorry he got 26 in this match that means sanju got a zero in this match okay so now in this till this match we can add their total 64 uh, and this is 59 uh, and 48 171 till m4 this is shubman and this is sanju so till m4 they have he has score of 171 similarly we can find for him that is 158 okay so total turns out to be 329 now these two people collectively scored 30 runs in fifth match right it does not matter that who scored how much they collectively scored 30 runs so no matter what like whatever is the score if he ends up with the least score if he ends up with the highest score anything the total runs scored by them would be 359 so that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions